do, so the patient is in a supine position, you're going to put your hand in a pistol grip, you're going to just get the spinous process here, and then these two, the, your thenar and this finger is going to be supposedly on the transverse process, okay? And then you're going to roll them over in this position, so your hands are going to be in that position like that, okay? So you're trying to get the spinous process right in between your third finger right in, in the, and your uh, thenar muscle, so right in there, so pick a level, okay? Then you're going to bring them over. Now a lot of you, the first thing you're going to say, you know, I hate this technique because it kills my fingers. Um, so what you can do is get a, a towel and just squeeze the towel or bunch up, you know, get some paper, roll it up, and, that, and that's going to help a lot with that. Another grip that you can do is a full grip. You can, if that's uncomfortable, I've gotten usually kind of more in the habit of using a full grip. So you can do that too. Okay, so, so I'm just getting... So you have the spinous process sitting... Right, it, right in between, okay. right in there. Yep, yep. Her hands are going to be over. Um, there, another way to do it is putting, her hand, putting the patient's hands around their neck and their elbows out here. The problem with that is sometimes people have neck issues and, you, and you're going to be setting, as you're setting up, you're going to be pulling on her arms and that could potentially pull on their neck and that might be uncomfortable. So what I've gotten into the habit is using more this type of position. So you're going to roll them over. Anywhere. Bring them over. Okay. So now I'm going to go flat-handed so, so she doesn't get too uncomfortable because I want to show you. So, so I have her spinous process set up in, in position. So I'm going to take her elbows. I'm going to use my arm and get my sternum right on her on on her elbows and using my, my arm also. So I got her nice and snug. Now what, where you want to take the thrust is going to be a drop down. What you want to feel for is as you're taking her, you want to feel the most pressure into your hand and that's, that's where you want to be in terms of thrusting. Because if you'll notice if I'm here, that's no good. She's rotated to her right. I really want to be over her and then I can extend her or flex her and finding where that level of where I want her and she's right about there. Okay? So um, the way you can sense that is you're going to feel the most pressure into your hand. Like in the spot that you're... Looking. Yeah, your whole hand. You're just going to feel it. You're going to say, okay, if I, go, if I put her into extension, I don't feel that much pressure. If I put her into flexion, not so much. In neutral, okay, now I feel the most pressure. So, and you want to make sure that as, as you're getting into that position, that you're not thrusting with her rotated or rotated out this way. So you want her to be even. Anything else to suggest? Uh, do you do any rotation? With the hand? Yeah. I talked about it later with the other group because I didn't want to complicate it. <laughs> All right, so it looks like this. So you, so you pick your spinous process, come over, 